Hello, today we are going to take a look at new device from Parkside that I recently purchased. This is a battery operated portable soldering iron station. I hope that this unit will replace my previous setup. This is what I was using for a field job. As you can see, I've got a 12 volt car cheap Chinese soldering iron and I put a Anderson power pole plugs so I could hook it up to my military battery. You can check my other videos. I've got a great Anderson power pole splitter. Recommend you checking it out. But in this case, I was using that SLA battery and I was able to solder on a rooftop or in another places where you've got, for example, a radio repeater. This is how the box looks like. This is the first unboxing. I didn't open it. The first thing that is a little bit problem, as you can see, the temp is quite high. This is a problem if you would like to solder a IC. But in my opinion, you are not going to do a SMD rework on a, a rooftop or in other places. So it's going to be for a more basic job. That's, that's not going to happen. Definitely someone get carried away. And this is how the box looks like. You can, you can pause and read in your language. Let's take a look what we've got inside. And let's try to do some real world test. Okay, and we've got something in that bag, maybe a spare tip. We've got a sponge, some solder, and yes, this is a tip. I was very interested, does it going to be exactly the same tip that I'm using? And to be honest, they looks like a cheap Chinese tips. So it's going to be most likely a very good Let's try to take a look at the handpiece. This is how it looks like. It got a nice round tip. Yeah, it is quite nice. I'm wondering why they didn't include a thermal regulation because it is not that expensive and the handpiece is looking very similar to those generic the, the heating element looks very close to thing that i'm using that's interesting this is interesting because the heater is definitely have a temp control circuitry because we've got four wires. So why they didn't do a temp regulation? So it must be regulating the temp, but it's not going to be, uh, you are not allowed to adjust it. That's quite interesting. They would not use a spare wires just for fun there must be a reason let's take a look does my tip fit and yes we've got a good fit so that's really great because i have a whole range but we are going to use what they gave us let's see the cord length mm, 
I would say it's a really good length. Absolutely great length for uh, this application. So here should go the sponge. Maybe add a little bit glue because it's going to fall in transport. We can put our handpiece here. Let's try to plug it. That one is not good. That one will be okay. And let's try to power it on. This is part video from the future. I was doing rework of that capacitors just to try it out and make sure it's work perfectly fine and yes it is we've got a slow blinking red led this is a standby mode it goes into that mode about around of 10 minutes from going into solid green you can wake up by pressing this button and then it's go into a fast blinking if you pay attention while doing something it can be uh, pretty quick you just like uh, wake it up and you do not have to wait for a cooldown i'm going to present you this as you can see now it's in cooldown mode but i press it against it heating up and it's going to very soon hit the sweet spot and this is the off mode if you remove the battery and slide it again to power it on you just press it once and this is what you are going to see it's heating up and it's going to heat a solid green so that's the operation so it's blinking most likely it's sending the power and if it's going to be green that it will be ready so let's take a look it's looking absolutely great that's what you would like to if you've got a set of batteries then just imagine going into the field with this setup and we've got a green led Let's take a look, does it melt? And yes, of course it does. It feels like the temp is a little bit too high for the... For the flux, because it's... I'm not sure about that. The temp looks too high for it. Let's try to solder something. This is part of my project. I believe it's going to be a one and a half millimeter of copper wire. And let's try to, to do something. I believe I was looking at this and I told you that I didn't like it. And that's because I grabbed a lead free solder. That's the, the reason, that's why it confused me. So I'm pretty sure that everything is fine. It just have a different color and I, I notice it right away. And looks like it make a, a perfect job.
Uh, yes. We've got a extremely good job for something that you can take anywhere. I can try to join them together, but my hands are shaking. So, of course, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. I need a third hand for that. Will it be powerful enough? Yes, it does, but I would add uh, more solder, but when I'm going to do it like that, it's going to split open. So yeah, I need a third hand. Let's take a look at something more real. Let's pretend that we are in the field and we would like to replace a capacitor. Let's go for the first one and let's just check whether it's going to be working. And let me grab a, a lead solder because I don't like the lead free. But yeah, that's how what you have to do nowadays. And it's going to be extremely fast. And of course, absolutely no problem in lifting a capacitor. Here we've got the ground plane, so it's going to be more interesting. But no problem. No problem whatsoever. And it's gone. All three are. Let me grab the soldering quick. Okay. So as you can see with this setup, you are capable of doing a basic rework in the field. Just to prove the point, I'm going to put them together. The interesting thing, I left it like it is and it go into some sort of power saving mode and I have to press the button to wake it up and it's powering it back again. In the meantime, I put the capacitors back just to prove the point and we are going to try to solder them back. I do not have the replacement so that's the only reason. And we've got the green LED. And looks like it's done. So as you can see, it is possible to do a simple fix using this station and it is a very nice addition to my setup and yeah it is a very nice device so thank you very much for watching i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye